Sri Lanka Medical Association and all medical colleges and associations strongly believe that the current serious situation calls for immediate intervention based on scientific, medical and public health approaches under the leadership of the health sector with collaboration of all the stakeholders. One of the key ways of preventing this infection is to restrict mobility of the population. That is why quarantine curfew is imposed in different parts of the country and especially in the western province. So, as population and individuals, your duty is to make sure that you comply with this instruction and these mobility restrictions 100%. If you are thinking of moving in the weekend for somewhere else, that is not to be done. You have to stay where you stay and make sure that you do not carry the viruses to all of the parts of the country to your loved ones. So make sure that you stay at your place and do not go for unnecessary movements and travel during the weekend. Keep the distance between the nearest person at least one meter. Use a good quality mask covering nose and mouth. Use the alcohol hand rub or soap and water to wash your hands frequently. If you have to sneeze or cough, use your upper arm to cover nose or mouth. Try to stay at home as much as possible. Today we have reached a decisive moment. As the number of COVID patients increases, there is a risk of healthcare facilities in the country running out of capacity. Also, as the number of patients increases, the number of deaths is also likely to go up, though the death rate has remained low. Therefore, we request the public to strictly adhere to the health measures stipulated by the government and the health officials. In the present context, we all are at risk of getting this COVID infection. Therefore, it is important to know the symptoms of this illness, which are cough, fever, body aches and sore throat. If you have these symptoms, it is important to seek medical advice and get tested because if, you, if we detect it early, we can monitor and observe to see whether you are getting any complication which can be sometimes life-threatening. Therefore, if you have any of these symptoms, seek medical attention, go to the nearest hospital or use the helpline provided by the Ministry of Health so that you can save your life and also prevent the infection from spreading to others.